Welcome guys back to Formula 1 2002. It is me, Jam Sankith. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, we're here for the well, the final four races the, to start off the final four races here on F1 2002. First up with the Belgian Grand Prix. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series so far. It's only four races left, which I'm disappointed about because I've been enjoying this series. Um, obviously, I've enjoyed F1 Championship Edition quite a bit as well, so... That's the last full F1 series I think I did as well, and that was a career mode thing. But uh, yeah, we're into the final four races, like I said. Starting off with the Belgian Grand Prix. If you missed the last race in Hungary, there's a link in the description for it, or there's a little card annotation. One of them I've remembered, the other one I haven't. Probably, or I might have done both, depending on when you're watching this. But anyway, yeah, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm not going to qualify, because obviously we stuck it on pole in Hungary, and it was going to be proper easy or not. Well, it was going to be slightly easy, should I say. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But let's get on with the Belgian Grand Prix. Good afternoon, and you're joining us for round 14 of the 2002 FIA Formula One World Championship here at Spa-Francorchamps for the Belgian Grand Prix. Last year, after lengthy delays at the start, Michael Schumacher eventually won for Ferrari, with David Coulthard second for McLaren Mercedes. The real star of the race, however, was young Italian Giancarlo Fisichella, who defied the critics of the Renault Power Benetton team by grabbing the final spot on the podium with an absolutely outstanding drive from third, much to the delight of his team and the fans. Mika Hakkinen came fourth, and Rubens Barrichello finished the race fifth for Ferrari. Jean Alesi, who took Frenchman's vacant seat at Jordan Honda, continued his strong form and duly delivered the final point for the team, thereby continuing his impressive streak and finishing every race of the season at the same time. Okay then, so um, a couple of things guys. Um, Schumacher's on pole after he's behind his teammate in the championship anyway at this point of the season, I know. Shock. Um, it's raining, I'm on dry tyres. As well as everybody else, I think. It's raining. Remember what happened last time it rained? Lights out and away we go. And my teammate, 20 seconds off the pace at the back of the field. That doesn't sound right for Formula 1, but it's all the PS2 games. So there you go. As we're feeding it through, we hit Panis. Alex Young sending the dive bomb of the century down into Turn 1. And uh, do we have enough grip on these tyres? Just asking for a friend, obviously. But P14 heading into Eau Rouge. Uh, and before the people in the comments, ooh, that's Radion actually. I don't care, it's a turn and I love it and it's Formula 1. Stop moaning. Okay. Here we go. Can we get around the outsiders to Kumasato? No, I nearly drove off the circuit myself. And we've been overtaken by a Jaguar. I do like them Jaguars. I would have done a season with them or a career with them, but uh, I like. I prefer Toyota to be fair when it comes to this. I like to drive as Jaguar myself in my spare time, which sounds weird. Who has? I don't really know, but me computer. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say I don't know where David Coulthard is. Me, me biggest rival this season is Coulthard in terms of crashing into me as we pass in Eddie Irvine. Alright, if you think intermediates is the way to go. Okay, Sato, goddamn. That was a moving F. Okay, box this lap, yeah, and I'm sliding all over the place. At least we're still ahead of Salo. We've both Toyotas have moved off the back of the field. Okay, so at the end of the first lap, we're going to make our pit stop. Where, where do I go? Okay, okay, yep, that's, um, um, uh, that I did, okay, I did not think where the pit lane was, that was stupid of me, can I drop behind this, this car behind, these two behind, yeah, there we go, I thought, well, I'd do that, because obviously I can't cut it, I thought the pit lane went off that way, because it used to, it used to go off that way, it's a uh, log jam in the pit lane. What am I doing? To be fair, I should have probably just carried on, but gaining an advantage. We've just been hit by. It. What even is this? Just go down to your pit box. There's a Williams already out of the Grand Prix. That's an unsafe release from Renault. 
And we're not even in his pit box. Well, shit for Eddie Irvine. We're in the, we're in the Minardi pit box. What is going on? What even is this race at the minute? Who hasn't pitted? Oh, for God's sake. No, I spun it. It was Kimi Raikkonen ahead of us. Still might have a chance at winning this race, or I doubt it, but not winning, but maybe some points, but... It's a crazy race so far. But now we need to get his head down and try and catch Kimmy. Okay, that's late on the brakes, down into two and one. As we, as somebody else is coming out of the pit lane. Okay, who are these? Don't swing over, do not swing over. Salo, you... Okay, it's fine. Well pointing in the right direction still. Now it's Fisichella. Me and Fisichella has had a bit of a rivalry this season, as I'm on the circuit again in the same place where I did last time. Okay, but not as dramatic as last time. Oh god damn it, Jensen Button's out of the Grand Prix, but we're up to P12 now. I'm trying to maintain my current speed, but every time I get close to another car, I spin. I know he's parked up and he's out of the race, I've just seen him. Now, can Felipe Massa's in the points in the Sauber. Can we make the bus stop chicane this time as the Jordans are fighting as we pass both Fissy Keller and Sato? I do apologise for anybody that's a Jordan fan, but that was fucking amazing. So we round up oh, the inside of Pedro De La Rosa already in the Jaguar or the Jaguar. That's how the Americans say it, Jaguar. But anyway, we're up to ninth, so points are on the table. But I got a feeling that that car way out in front, as we just hit Trulli, is one of the Ferraris. And I don't think they've stopped yet. Up to P8. Let's see if we can get some points. I know, my consistent driving is moving me up the field well. Do not swing over, Kimmy. We're in a championship fight with Kimi, to be perfectly honest. Not for anything serious, probably for like fifth in the championship, but but it's better than fighting for for getting a, just one point over somebody that hasn't scored a point all season. Just so much understeer through that little corner. And then the corner with no name, I'm actually okay. Down to Puon. As, uh, can we get Kimi Raikkonen down into this corner? Yes, we can. And Massa, can we get him as well? Yes, there we go. We're up into the points for now. No, nope, no. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. God damn it. Yeah, he's taking points off me now. Well, I know Felipe's been pushed out of the points, but we take that point uh, position off Felipe. It's okay. Where we was running that race in eighth, that would be points in 2003, but we passed Kimi Raikkonen as well. So we get a point if we stay where we are. And look at that, we made the bus stop chicane. Sort of. But yeah, we made the chicane, so uh, yeah, who's the next car? I'm going to say Montoya. Nick Heitfeld, okay. It's Nick Heitfeld, so um, yeah. Let's get his head down and catch the Sauber. Alright then, so we're on the back of Heitfeld, alongside him now actually, to be perfectly honest, in the Sauber Patronus, and we're ahead of him in 5th, so yeah, I don't know who the next car is, but um, hopefully it's, well, I'm going to just say, hopefully they're a bit easier to overtake than Heitfeld, in a way, even though Heitfeld just jumped out my way, but yeah, let's find out who it is. 
and it took me about a lap to catch him, but it would be, I would have been on back of him sooner if it weren't for me spinning, so yeah. Oh, it's David Coulthard. Oh, goody. Okay, so fastest lap of the race as we gain four seconds on Coulthard in that final sector. Okay, so, yeah, interesting. Um, we're not far from the finish, lap 7 of 11. At least let me catch Coulthard. Oh, Jesus Christ, we gained another four seconds on him in sector 1. 2.4 behind David Coulthard now. At least let me catch him. I know we've been a bit of a rival this season due to probably both of us making a bit of contact with each other. But, um, yeah, Scott versus Scott, apparently, because Alan McNish is Scottish, I'm not saying I am. But, yeah, hopefully we can catch David Coulthard before the end of this race and get P4. But I don't know where P3 is, so, um, yeah. But I did see a Ferrari in the pit lane when we made a stop, so... It's got to be the Shui or, Fara uh, or Ferrari, Shui or Barrichello, that, so... Okay, then here we go, around the outside of David Coulthard, it's going to be... Oh, Kimi Raikkonen's out, so Schumacher's third. Okay, and... Yes, I know I did, and Kimi's out of the Grand Prix, that's going to help us out if we... If we finish P4, as me race engineer talks over me. If we can finish P4, that's going to help us big time in the championship ahead of Kimi. Um, so we got around Coulthard pretty easy. That was probably the best place for me to get him on a straight. But um, but yeah, so 13 seconds to Schumacher. I don't think I'm going to catch that. That will make that time much, should I, should I say. Um, especially, I did gain like a, about 3 seconds there. So um, yeah, that's interesting. But I'm not that strong in this middle sector. But yeah. P4 is looking like the best we can have at the minute, guys. Okay, I can see a bit of, bit of spray up ahead. I don't know if that's Michael or not. It might be a lap car, but we did gain a lot of him in that first sector. Okay. Jesus, yeah. It was about 10 seconds again at the end of the final sector, and now it's seven, uh, 5 seconds, sorry, or 6, sorry. Let's round it up. No, let's be accurate. 5.8. And I've driven off the road. Never mind about catching Michael. Alright, two laps to go as we're coming up on the back of... Uh, I'm going to say Mark Webber. It's actually Alex Young, so I've got them wrong again. But anyway, yeah. 8.8 .8 seconds between us and Schumacher. It was about 10-11 seconds. At, um, at the end of that second sector, but... Um, yeah, I don't really know if we're going to catch him. Might end up being a last lap like Bel like in not Belgium, like in France. But uh, yeah, we'll find out. Ralph Schumacher's out of the Grand Prix. So now it's a fight between the Ferraris for the race win, and I'm not far behind them neither. Can I steal the race win off the Ferraris? With how good we are in the first and middle sector. Well, how good we are in the first and final sector. Can we do it? One lap to go here in Belgium, as Ralph Schumacher is out of the race. And I've just demolished the fastest lap of the race, and there they are. There's the Ferraris. A Toyota going to steal the win on the final lap of the race. I don't really think so, but I don't think so, but you never know. Right, don't do nothing stupid, James. We can get 10 points here. 10 points. As Ralph Schumacher has another failure coming to the final lap of a race. He missed out in um, in Germany because of a retirement, well, a mechanical failure. 
the Ferrari, well, the AI are going to be much quicker than me through this sector anyway, but that's not what I need to do. Oh, I shit my teammates out. Um, fingers crossed that my car will hold out. I've been flat through here on the last lap. Let's try it again. There we go. Flat through there. That's keeping us in touch with one of the Ferraris. I lifted off there because I felt like I was going to go probably skating off towards the barrier. On the last lap of the race, I'm nervous. My heart's pounding as well. I don't think we're going to catch him. I think it's going to be Rubens Barrichello. Actually, we haven't seen Montoya, have we? We haven't seen Montoya all day. What What's happened to Juan Pablo? But here we are. We're not close enough to get them or both of them. We might be able to get one of them. There's lap traffic. There's lap traffic. We're there with the Ferraris. Can I get Michael before the line? Can I get Rubens? No, Rubens is a bit too far ahead. We take second place here in Belgium. Look at Rubens Barrichello being so far. Uh, only two tenths of a second. S wow. Absolutely fantastic. Second place here in Belgium. Yes. Oh my god. What a finish. I think without that running wide before the corner with no name, that left hander, I mean the right hander, we would have been right with them. We would have been right with them and we would have had that. We would have had. Yeah, we would have had the win if I didn't make that mistake. But, oh Christ, what an end to the Grand Prix. Oh, can the other three races to end the season be this good? We're on the podium on the rostrum for the third time this year. Austria, France and now Belgium. They're all quite close as well, to be perfectly honest. So, yeah. I, I was on the podium in France, that was good, that was a lap, lap pass and all. And now that we've beaten Michael, he's finished third, he's got four points, Rubens got ten, that's a six point swing for Rubens. Here today, he was already the leader of the championship. And I know I'm talking over James Allen, but yes, look at that, we get the second place trophy. We've been on every single place now, on the podium, first, second, third. He looks a bit disappointed, but don't worry, Michael will be back for Monza. Ferrari is presented with the trophy for the winning constructor, and everyone on the team will be overjoyed. If only that front, that start line would have been just a bit further down the track, it would have been sound. But, yeah. What a race. What a race. Two tenths off winning a Grand Prix. Yes, definitely start their celebrations in earnest. And uh, yeah. A Toyota back on the podium in Formula 1. That's going to help us with Kimi not scoring points neither. We got six points. So yeah, let's check the Drivers Championship. Okay then guys, here are the driver's points leaving Belgium and heading off towards Monza and Italy. It is Rubens Barrichello, 11 points clear of his teammate Michael Schumacher with a maximum of 30 points on the table going into the final three races. So Rubens is looking very good for the championship. I'm going to count... Yeah, I think I'm going to count... Uh, Ralph out of that because I think he's 35 no 33 points behind he is let's have a look yeah yeah he's 33 points behind uh Michael 77 he's got a chance at the championship Montoya 48 and uh obviously Coulthard got three points today but look at that the points uh gap between us and, and Kimi was only one leaving Hungary because we didn't score none um but now we're five ahead because we got the six points here today so we we're ahead of Head of um, Kimi, so that's good news for us in the championship. Eddie Irvine is still with one point. Trolley got a point today, and so did Heitfeld. He got two, to be perfectly honest. And Fissi Keller's the final driver in the standing so far. But anyway, here are the constructors. Ferrari, I think they've almost certainly won that by now. Um, we're comfortable in, in well, fourth place in the constructors. I doubt we're going to get any further than that, which I'm pretty sure we're not going to get further than that. Because, actually, we could do, but we need McLaren to score no points in any of the three races and me to win them. 
which isn't going to happen, and then we'd be we're third by one point. But anyway, um, yeah. So uh, yeah, and then Jaguar has still got one point. Arrows, Minardi, and Bar, which is a surprise that Bar and Jordan have no points this season. So um, yeah, that's been this guy. Uh, this this guy's. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. That's been this video, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed, and I will see you guys in a few days' time or very shortly for the Italian Grand Prix.